What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Wallet Monkey channel where we give you all the credit intel you need to grow your wallet. Today I want to cover a business net 30 to 120 day solution called Behalf. Now I remember when this first came out a couple years back and I played around with it in the beginning and then actually kind of forgot about it. But if you're just getting started into building your business credit and you have legitimate purchases and you're kind of finding yourself maxed out or some aren't, some vendors aren't extending you net terms yet, or you just want to go to, to a site or get something that does not offer net terms, this is a solution for you. Okay, so essentially what you do is you enroll and get signed up through, um, through behalf and then they underwrite you. So you add like stuff to your cart whether it's through the vendors that they offer and they're already connected to, which there's quite a few, or you can plug in the data and the info from someone that they're not connected with already, and then they will um, either approve or deny you, give you terms, you accept it, and boom, you are essentially able to pay for that stuff with a virtual credit card issued by uh, Regions. So let's go through this. As I just said, you enroll, you add your items, okay, and then offer the, um, or excuse me, select the behalf as the payment method, right? And then you set the financing details, extend financing periods between 30, I said 120 days, it's 180 days, available at low fixed fees of one to $3 for every $100 spent. And of course, this is subject to their underwriting. So it could be much worse. And I would say that's really the thing to pay attention to is how much is the financing fee and how much is the rate, yeah? Get a 10% discount on financing fees each time you select a weekly estimated debit schedule for your business, uh, prefer net 30 financing, behalf offers that too. Okay, and then place your order. So you place the order, they're essentially giving you, like I said, a virtual credit card to now buy the stuff. So you're getting, it's like a, uh, a modulized net 30 to 180 day solution. Pretty cool, right? So it's used by quite a few. Um, this is on the new egg business side, they, they use this and then Tiger Direct uses this as well, Lenovo. So there's a lot of big hitters that use this. So let's now scroll down. All business loans, because they do business loans as well, are offered by Finwise Bank out of Utah. I don't think I've heard of them before. And then the virtual credit cards are issued through Regions Bank and Processor Stripe. So just in case you wanted to get some data points to see What's likelihood of approval, things like that. You could go look at regions. Who do they pull? WalletMonkey.io will let you know that. All right, so let's go back up. I wanted to show you an example, an actual real world example of what this would cost. It's actually not that bad. All right, so here's your example. It's based off of a $900 purchase. So estimated monthly um, debit amount of $900 purchase, equivalent of 1% financing fee with a period of three months would result in three monthly payments of $303. So $9 in fees off that 900, not bad. Now, if you did this for a 3% fee across those three months, you would be paying back what, $27 in fees? So you'd pay back 927 across three 309 payments. So again, not awful, but you're starting to see that, um, you know, these, these fees can add up. I think this is better than some sort of like weird cash advance, like use put your paycheck up kind of thing. And again, like if you're desperate to get get um, different equipment or get you know some sort of net terms or payment terms on something that you need for your business, this I do think is a really good solution. I would just um, I would just caution that you pay attention to the servicing charges, the fees, the the rate that you're getting, and because. This example, like between this example and reality of getting approved and underwritten, it's gonna be different. And so really pay attention to the amount of fees and do the math if you have to, to um, understand what you're gonna pay. But again, I think at face value with what they're offering, like this, like I said, this modular plug and play um, net terms that you can pop over the top of any purchase, I think in theory, that's an amazing idea. And they've been around now for I think two or three years. So it seems like they're doing well. It's something to check out if this fits what you need in your business right now. Okay, just wanted to pop in a couple extra pieces here from the FAQ. Um, who should be the one that uh, applies for this? It should be the person who has the most ownership and the entity, you know, over 50%, uh, AKA the responsible party. All right, in terms of what businesses can or can't, the only things that can't is what you would typically expect, illegal goods, services, 
CBD, uh, medical marijuana stuff because it's not uh, allowed federally yet. They're not going to risk their any sort of their business licensing or anything by trying to offer this across state lines because that still is pretty questionable territory. But uh, outside of that, pretty much anyone, there is no one-year age minimum. Um, all they require is that businesses are both in good standing with the state and credit bureaus. Uh, those people are eligible. So I would assume this means that you have to actually have some sort of paid X score, have an EIN as well, right? So just letting you know that. The last thing I wanted to show you, oh, is this right here? So what if the merchant is not signed up? I explained this, but this explains it a little bit better, is that behalf, first off, uh, currently is like linked up with over 5,000 uh, approved merchants. When you select those out of the dropdown, it's very similar to uh, very um, similar to when you're setting up your like bank account with like a Played or third-party API service like that. It's got that kind of same kind of drop-down feel, and um, then you'd just be able to pick it from that, right? And if not, then signing up uh, to accept behalf as a merchant is quick and simple process. Uh, if the merchant accepts Visa. So essentially, like I said, you're just using a virtual card. So as long as they'll accept a credit card and a Visa, then it just takes a couple of additional steps and then you'll be able to use it. The last thing is, I wasn't sure if they do PG. I know back when, in the beginning, they didn't. And I'm pretty sure that's still true. So they are still asking for social security and date of birth, but they're not saying that they're using it to for any sort of credit application. They're just saying that they're using it for um, linking you as the responsible party from a identification or, or validation standpoint of identity, which ha they have to from a uh, AML and KYC standpoint within the United States, they have to uh, do that. Well, here you go. And here's the exact answer is no, it'll just be a soft pull. Okay. Okay, great. So there you go. Just a soft pull. And yeah, if you want to check this out, I'll, uh, there'll be the uh, links underneath in the description box. If you have experience and you've got some data points to share, since we have very limited data points still, please share below in the comments. Like this video, it'll get out in front of more people. If you're brand new here and you like this sort of thing, hit the subscribe button, bell notification, turn it to all so you don't miss out on future videos. All right, see you again real soon.